Hi, I'm Chris from Tom's Outdoors and this is my Two Minute Tuesday. Even though it's Wednesday, I'm sort of running a day behind. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to you about is the Spark sleeping bag range. Um, in particular, this is a Spark 1 that I've got in my hand. Um, this is a Nalgene water bottle. As you can see, the Spark sleeping bag is really compact. Um, it's very light, it's about 350 grams. Now, there is one huge um, drawback though. It's not that warm. It's really warm for its weight in the temperature range that it needs to be used in or that it's advised in. So it's got a comfort of 12 degrees. Now, if you're sleeping down to 12 or 10, it's a great bag. If you're trying to sleep in five, it's not that great. Um, you will get cold. Um, so for that, if you're getting down around zero, you really need the Spark 3. Now it's about three times the weight, well twice the weight, I think it's about 670 grams or something. It's about three times the volume, okay. So the Spark 1, it's nice and light, it's almost translucent. I don't know if you can see that in the, um, the image. It is got a very short zipper, it doesn't have a draft tube, it's extremely light, okay. Um, I've tested this myself down to a frost. Um, I've needed extra layers to be able to sleep in it. Um, I forgive it for most of its sins because it is so compact. So if you're really wanting to lighten your load and you understand the drawbacks and the sacrifices that you need to make to be able to go ultra, ultra light, um, then the spark bag may be for you. But if you like to be comfortable, if you like to be warm, if you love to just snuggle into your sleeping bag and have a really warm night's sleep no matter what the weather, then I'd look past the Spark sleeping range and look something towards something with a bit more warmth in it. Um, if you're prepared to sacrifice, um, you want to go light, go a Spark.